What's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to be having a look at Terra Luna and how uh, and why the price keeps dropping. And it's not because of um, it's definitely not because of of sellers. OK, it's not because of sellers. It's actually because of the circling supply increasing drastically. The circling supply increased 100 times, 100 X. If I could long the circling supply right now, it's a it's a good bet. OK, um, the circling supply was at 300 million and now it's at 30 billion guys 30 billion the circuit circling supplies at 30 billion i bet you if i refresh it'll go even higher look at that 1 billion was just added to this if you go back to the video you will see we were at 30 billion 100 million now we are almost at 31 billion which is insane and for those of you guys who don't understand market cap is uh price doesn't really matter you have to look at market cap and circling supply and the market cap is essentially the circling supply times the price equals the market cap. Now, in order for us to go back to even one or two dollars, the, the market cap would have to be 60 billion dollars. Now, the highest that the market cap was when Terra Luna was at 140 um, or 120, sorry, 119 was 42 billion dollars. That was the market cap. So uh, Terra Luna going to one and a half dollar is equivalent to uh, Terra Luna being at 119 back in the days, uh, a few days ago, actually three, four days ago. Very, very sad to see, unfortunately. But um, now what are they trying to do? Well, Terra Luna is trying to save or Terra Foundation is trying to save USD. They need to repeg it. OK, they need to bring it back up to one dollar. Is this going to happen? Probably not. I mean, there's a lot of fear happening. People are selling USD. They have no more faith in it. They think it's going to crash down. Um, so they so they're essentially panicking. Now, in order for them to do that, they need to essentially burn UST and every time UST gets burned, Luna supply increases. OK, so there's a conflict over here because people want um, Luna. So the, they want the Luna supply to get burned. But in order for them to do that, they need to burn UST. But that doesn't make sense because every time they burn UST, then the Luna supply increases. So right here it's increasing and I, I have no idea what they're doing, but um, every time the Luna, every time uh, USD gets burned, Luna increases, the supply increases, which is horrible. That's why the price is dropping, right? The more supply there is the, and less demand price falls down. If there's minimal, so like think about it, like Bitcoin, Bitcoin only has 21 million Bitcoins is the reason why it's at $30,000 because there's 21 million, not 30 billion. If Bitcoin was at, had a market, had a circling supply of 1 billion, the price of Bitcoin would actually be $533. Crazy, right? Um, and I know a lot of people know this basic math. I mean, this is very, very beginner stuff, but I see a lot of people on Twitter saying, um, can this go back to, to $2? Can this go back to $5? I mean, if it goes back to $5, it would be 10,000%. Can this go back to 50 cent? Uh, can Luna go back to $30? And no, I don't think it could. Um, and before that, before all this happened, every time Luna would get burned, the UST supply would increase. OK, so this is why there was such a high demand, because there was low, there was a little amount of Luna. So right here in this chart, we could see that back then when it was at its highest peak, I mean, we saw the Luna, the Luna supply decreasing. Right. So every time it was decreasing, the blue line is the supply and the white line is the price. And every time it was de decreasing, we saw a nice a nice little um, a nice little increase of the Luna price. So right here we had a nice little increase of supply. And of course, we saw a nice little crash of the price. And then it went back up as it was decreasing. It went back up. It went back up It went back up and then it went back down. And until we came to this point where I mean, the supply was three hundred and forty five um, million a few days ago on May 10th and ever since the supply increase and guys, this is not even accurate, by the way, just letting you know, um, it's not really 1.4, it's 30 billion. So so the supply when the price went down, supply went up, guys, basic economic, the more supply you have and um, and the less demand, it drives the price lower. So that's about it. I mean, can they save USD? Probably not. Can they save Luna? probably not at this rate that they're going. I mean, this thing keeps uh, the Luna supply keeps going up 30 billion, 31 billion tokens in circulation. Mark caps getting destroyed. And um, that's about it. I mean, I hope this tweet explained everything. And I know there's a lot, a lot of newbies out there, which is OK. It's OK. Welcome to crypto. But um, it's very to understand. It's very important to understand what happened and um, and to understand if this is going to recover. So unless Luna kills UST and burns all 
all 30 billion tokens back, which I doubt that will happen. Um, I don't see Luna going up anymore in my in my honest opinion. But uh, of course, guys, if you like this video, if you, if this video helped you and understand why this circulating supply is increasing, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.